That's the thing is that when they started this whole process, the mayor announced it would be a nationwide search, something that Columbus Police Department had not normally, nor, not normally First time does. ever. Exactly. First so, time ever. Uh, and I think part of that stemmed on, you know, wanting to branch out because I think every other member of the Columbus Police Department that would have been a candidate was white. Right, uh, right. So when it came down to these two, I'm sure at that community <clears throat> forum, that was a very important topic. And it's, a, and it's important to point out, too, that even Thomas Quinlan, when I sat down and spoke with both of the candidates, Thomas Quinlan even pointed out to me that there is a lack of diversity. When whether it's people of color or women, they don't have enough. And he said, I have enough Tom Quinlans, other than, I mean, men that look just like me out there on the, uh, with the Columbus Police Department. Only problem, the people that are getting in the back seat of those police cruisers don't look like me. So I need to better the way we communicate, the way we understand each other. And he knows he's got some work ahead of him. I've also been working the phones and talking to some, uh, some officials, some elected officials here in the Columbus area, as well as with some organizations. And they say that they want to sit down with Thomas Quinlan and make sure that he gets it right. They say that he is open to, of course, having a seat preparing a seat for everyone at the table. They just want to make sure that they put a team, a call, a call to action team together so that this gets done because he's lacking in some places. Now, Thomas Quinlan has been the interim police chief now since February. So Absolutely. for 300 some days, uh, he has made some changes. Yeah. And some positive changes that some of the community think uh, toward the police department. It just may not be the change that maybe some wanted, which was an outside voice. Yes. Uh, at that form, uh, do you remember exactly what other changes maybe Quinlan had mentioned uh, that he would give to the force? Uh, well, Another thing that he was really that he's really strong on is, of course, getting more kids, more cadets, bringing more cadets to the Columbus De Police Department. Because he said, in doing that, that means that little boys that grow up in areas like Linden and Franklinton, they'll have a different perspective of what a police officer does. It's not he's not always the one that's coming into your community when it's not time to serve, when it's not time to protect. He wants to change all that. So it's about cadets. It was about the lack of diversity and, of course, inclusion mm -hmm. and, of course, and getting to be more one-on-one -on -one with people who live in the neighborhoods. He says it's tough because, yeah. of course, they got a lot of people in, what, 1,400 <laughs> police officers, but he wants all of his officers to be able to, to wave at the people that live in the community that they serve and not just going there when there's something wrong. I'm reading his, on his application here. He said exactly that. He said, I've led innovations that address needed cultural changes and organizational dynamics within the division, uh, but one of the things they need to change is that that person to person interaction with the community. Right. Uh, and when you look at both of these candidates, Matt, side by side, they kind of match up with each other because both have served about 30 years mm -hmm. with different police departments. Of course, Quinlan having spent all of that time here in Columbus. And Perry Terrence said that can work for and against you. It could be both a curse and a blessing. Um, and he has spent time in Seattle and time in Tucson, Arizona. And when I last checked in with Perry Terrence, it was probably two weeks ago, December 3rd, as a matter of fact. And he, I asked him, have you checked in? Has the mayor, Mayor Andrew, Andrew Ginther, checked in with you about where we stand right now in this search? Because the mayor has said, I want to make a decision by the, by the end of the year. He did do that. But at that time, Perry told me he had not heard from the chief. And I think he was a little, a little nervous about mm -hmm. getting the position at that point. And again, if you just joined us, uh, Thomas Quinlan, who has served as the interim chief for the Columbus Police Department since February, is expected to be named the chief of police officially by the mayor uh, at 11 a.m. press conference at the Michael B. Coleman government. Center. It is something that's kind of encompassed the city for about Again. you know months now as we try to figure out would they go outside or would they go inside, which is what they normally do within the Columbus. And, and again, we get back to how much money, how much time exactly. the city of Columbus has put into, of course, the search. Mm -hmm. They spent thousands, tens of thousands of dollars on this, and it'll be interesting to hear what people in the community, taxpayers in the community, mm -hmm. will have to say about we spent all this money and we didn't make any changes. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Exactly. Ted Hart's going to be working. The streets on that, and Rob Snee's going to be working the streets on that. And we'll have more for you it at is, 11 o'clock and at 4 o'clock. Yeah, it is the big story of the day for sure. Darlene, thank you so thank much you, for your Matt. great reporting. And we thank you for watching. We're going to return you to regularly scheduled programming, but again, we'll be back for NBC4 Midday at 11 when Mayor Ginther takes that podium to announce that again. Interim Police Chief Thomas Quinlan expected to be the new Chief of Police. We'll return you now to regularly scheduled programming.